hopefully you've had a little bit of a chance to be in Seesaw and um, at least give the problem a starting try. Uh, if you haven't watched the video over in Canvas, you can go do that or in YouTube. Um, it is the video right before this one, but the same date. Um, so uh, let's get going with solving this full thermochemistry calorimetry problem. What we're going to do is start with a synthesis reaction and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to synthesize methane gas, CH4. Uh, and so to do that, we are going to put together two grams of carbon and uh, just one gram of hydrogen. All right. Delta H, because I always have to look that one up and give that one to you so that you know what the heat uh, is for the standard reaction. It is negative 74.8 kilojoules, kilojoules. Remember, this is going to become important, that K, uh, as we convert over to calorimetry. All right, we want to know when we do this reaction, if we start with two grams of carbon and one gram of hydrogen, um, how much would 2,000 grams of water get warmed up? Okay, that's what we want to know. And the specific heat for water is 4.186. Uh, that is joules per gram. And Let's see, I think that that's probably going to be enough information for us to begin going ahead and solving this problem. So remember, we need to do this in two parts. The first part is the stoichiometry, the second part is the calorimetry. So let's go ahead and get going with the stoichiometry. Synthesis, we know how to do this. We start with our reactants, carbon plus hydrogen. Remember, it doesn't make a difference which order we do that. I'm going to leave a little bit more room here. Carbon plus hydrogen, and we're going to produce, I'm just going to put the two elements there. Um, all right, let's see, diatomics, hydrogen is diatomic, we need a two there. The other one, traveling with a friend, doesn't need a two behind it, but we do need to balance it. Carbon, if you look at the periodic table, is plus four, and hydrogen has a charge of one, and so this is a covalent bond. So when they get sharing things, we're going to end up, switch the numbers, one carbon and four hydrogens. All right, we balance the molecule. Let's go ahead and balance the whole equation. Um, we have four hydrogens on the right. We have to have four on the left and one carbon and one carbon. So we're in good shape. We have to add in delta H, how much heat we get from this standard reaction. Remember, delta H is negative, which means it produces heat, 74.8 kilojoules of heat. We don't need a negative because we write it on the right side of the equation. That means it generates heat. Uh, and so we've taken care of the negative by moving it to the right side. If it was a positive 74, all that we would do is put the 74 on the left side of the arrow. So we take care of that sign by moving uh, delta H to the left or to the right of the arrow. All right, let's go ahead and set this up. We need one line above each of our numbers. Remember, this last one is Q. And we need some, num some lines below each of these. There we go, but not around the last one. Remember, these are grams, and up on top, moles. All right, so let's first uh, look up what the atomic weight is. Well, over in your periodic table, carbon has an atomic weight of 12 grams for one mole. H, hydrogen, is going to be 1 plus 1, so that is going to be 2. And on the right side, uh, we have 12 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is then going to be 
16 grams for one mole. All right, then we're going to put in, add in how much we've been given. Well, I said you're going to start with two grams of carbon and one gram of hydrogen. So at this point, we've been doing exactly what you've been doing in the stoichiometry, nothing new. So keeping going, we're going to divide right here. So two divided by 12. And then we're just going to write that number up here, 0.167. Do the same thing here, 1 divided by 2, you know that's 1 point or 0 0.5. Okay, so I'm going to get my colors out here and circle this one and circle this one and do a little bit more division. 0 0.167 divided by 1 is 0 0.167. 0 0.5 divided by 2 is 0.25. And so which of those is the smaller number? That one is, okay, 0.166 is the smaller, 167 is the smaller number. So that is what limits my reaction. When I run out of carbon, my reaction stops. All right, let's go over, figure out how much product we get and how much energy it produces. So 0.167 over one is gonna equal this one right there, x over 1. Okay, well, a little cross multiplication, and you can see that is 0.167. All right, let's go figure out Q now, because it is 0.167 over 1 equals Q over 74.8 kilojoules. So we just do a little bit of multiplication there, and you're going to find out that Q is equal to 12.8. I believe it is. Yeah, 12.5 kilojoules. All right. So we have now figured out how much energy is going to be released from the reaction of two grams of carbon and one gram of hydrogen. So now what we're going to do is take that number, that 12.5 kilojoules, and we're going to go down here because we've got to do our calorimetry next. But keep in mind, when we move it down, we got to multiply by 1,000 because that is in kilojoules. And down below, we want to deal in just joules. So down here, uh, we're going to make that not 12.5, but 12,500. All right. Remember this down here, Q equals MC, change in temperature, delta T. So Q, we've already got 12,500. The mass, I said we're going to start with 2,000 grams of water. C, the specific heat of water, 4.186. Delta T, change in temperature. So now all we have to do is a little bit of arithmetic and so if you want to, for example, you could divide both sides by 2,000 and get um, 625. Let's get the decimal in the right place. And then divide by 4.186. And we'll go ahead and finish it off. And our final result is 1.5 degrees Celsius. In case you didn't hear me there, we had a decimal in there, 12,500 divided by 2,000 is 6.25 divided by 4.186. And that's the finished calculation, 1.5 degrees Celsius. And that is what delta T, the change in temperature, is going to be for our two liters of water. So that would be if you had a big two liter bottle of soda, the temperature would go up one and a half degrees.